And now for the moment of truth. Alexa, lights off. Oh yeah, pitch black, baby. What if I told you if you could darken your room, you would drastically improve the image quality of your projection screen? In this video, I did just that. I darkened my theater room windows. I've got a double sliding glass door and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Do it super inexpensive and it was really, really easy to install. So let's jump into it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is install this window tent. It's kind of like a, a static clean, it's called Velamax. I'm gonna install it on both of these uh, sliding glass doors because as you can see, we've got a lot of light bleed. Um, definitely these blackout curtains have reduced the light in here tremendously, but there's still some that kind of bleeds through. So I'm hoping by adding this on the other side of the uh, curtains that it'll kind of take care of any remaining light, especially up top when I turn the lights off it kind of comes through the very uh, top opening up there in those little rings. So we're gonna get this uh, measured on the door first. Then I've got some tools over here, um, just some squeegees. I've got a razor blade knife, a bottle of water, um, like a spray bottle that we'll be using, and just some Windex paper towels to clean it first, and then a tape measure. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna leave it. My, my uh, actual window measures less than this, but I'm gonna leave it full length. I'm gonna cut this a little bit, maybe a two or three inches longer than what I need. Then we'll install it from the top corner down and then we'll just trim off the areas that we don't need. So inside here, we've got instructions, which we'll, we'll hang on to that. Pretty sure I know how to do it, but I'll still read it just to make sure. And I'll let you guys know um, any suggestions that they recommend there. So we're gonna unroll this. I'm gonna measure 93 inches we'll cut it it's kind of cool they do have some lines back here i guess it makes it easier to kind of mark off your distance all right so we need 93 inches it's about right there cool so i'll mark it on that line we'll get that cut Now, when you unroll the Velamax, it kind of folds up on the edges. And so they recommend placing some books around the edges and the corners to kind of relax the material. So we'll let that sit for a little while and come back in just a bit. Now, before I install the film on the window, I want to give you a kind of a before and after with and without the film on the window. So here we have the lights on, Alexa, lights off. And here you can see, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod for a second. And we'll kind of walk over here towards. So you can see at the very top, we've got light bleed coming from the top. And if I pan down to the bottom, you'll see quite a bit of light bleed down here at the bottom of the curtain. So it's coming underneath the curtain. And especially right here, we just got a big gap I'll come over here and turn around. You can see, so we've got light that is bleeding down here, which of course I could pin that together, but I just want to see how much difference this is going to make. And then over here to the side, it's hard to see, but we've got some light bleed over here as well. So now we're going to peel this backing off of the film. I can already feel the static clinging on it. All right, it's probably best that you get two people, one to hold it, the other person can just pull it. So I'm gonna put some books down here on the end, hopefully to kind of hold it. While I pull the rest of it off. So now we're gonna take our water bottle and just generously spray And then we're also going to lightly spray the back side of the Velamax. So now it's kind of wet on the back side of the Velamax as well as on the window. And we're going to slide this into position. And we're going to start with the top right corner. I'm going to get that aligned. 
So the water allows us to kind of slide this around and get it in position where we want it. We want to make sure it's all the way in the corner, tucked in there really good. We're just going to use our fingers to get that aligned. And then I'm going to work my way down to the bottom. We want it as close to the edges as possible because that's going to give us the least amount of bleed. Oh, I'm already liking that. That looks great. So we're gonna just kind of massage this, get it in place, and then we'll begin to squeegee. I'll show you that in a second. So now we're gonna take our water bottle once again, and we're just going to spray a little bit of water on the inside of this. And that way when we use the squeegee, it'll kind of slide across there a little bit easier. We're gonna start at the top with our squeegee. Just kind of pull that down. And then what we'll do is we will start in the middle and go towards the outside. And we'll do that on the right side as well as on the left side. We're just trying to get um, rid of any bubbles that are beneath it. Because if you got bubbles, then over time, this fabric or this material is going to want to kind of peel off. So I'll go ahead and get that done and then we'll trim the excess off the left side as well as the bottom. So far the hardest part has been cutting a straight line or at least getting really, really close to the edge. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna take this, um, it's not really a, a squeegee, but it's what I've been using for a squeegee. It's just a uh, kind of like a putty knife. So I'm gonna push this all the way up against the edge as far as I can and then take my razor blade and cut along that. And then I'm just gonna work my way all the way up. But I think with a combination, even if there's a tad bit of light bleed coming around the edge with the blackout curtain in front of it, we'll never see it. All right, so I've got the first window tent installed. And honestly, guys, this thing, I mean, it's blocking all the light. This is fantastic. The hardest part and the most tedious part is cutting around the edges. And I know at the top, um, when I went back and looked at it, there's definitely a little bit of gap um, up here at the very top left. I wasn't really cutting straight as I thought I was. I was basically just using the razor knife, cutting along the side, but then it would move. So what I figured out, kind of trial and error, and I'm hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes, is I took this little spatula or this putty knife and pushed it all the way up, I'll do it this way. I pushed it all the way up against the corner and then I used this to kind of trace the straight line. But one thing I learned too is leave the knife there, move the putty knife down and then come down and cut some more. Leave the knife there, putty knife down, cut. And that way you've got one continuous cut instead of cutting, letting go, cutting, letting go. Cause I found I had a like a little little pieces that were still stuck and I'd have to go back and trim those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the second one installed. We'll get the curtains in the front and we'll do another test before and after to see if we have any light bleed. Okay, so I've got both of the windows tinted and honestly, it turned out really great. This is super, super easy to install. Um, like I said before, probably the hardest part is getting the um, kind of around the edges Pretty much right now, it looks like it's pretty pitch black, but if I turn off all the lights, you'll see there is some light leakage around the edge. Alexa, lights off. So here, I'll grab the camera once again, and you can see as I get close to the door, looking at this angle, you can see there's definitely a little bit of light leakage there. Also around the bottom edge. If I look over on this side, that's actually pretty good. You can see just a tad bit of light. This is where I began and that's the worst part of it. So it's just not super, super close there. If I look at the right door, you can see I got a lot better there. Can barely see the light there. A little bit there. Then a little bit more on the bottom and then definitely not as much on this side. So the second 
application went a lot cleaner than the first. Now before I install the curtains, there's one really important thing that I still need to do. What? You're surprised a youth man knows how to iron? And we've got one final speaker to mount, which is my surround. And this mounts just on a, a little custom bracket that a friend of mine made me. And it just secures on a, a keyhole bracket, just like that. And now for the moment of truth. Alexa, lights off. Oh yeah, pitch black, baby. Subscribe for home theater tips, tours, and reviews. Let's get to 100,000. Be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.